Good evening, folks. How, How are we doing? My name's Matt, and uh, this is uh, this is Luke. This Hello. is Luke. Um, welcome to the stream. Uh, today we are taking a look at uh, West Somerset Railway running on Xbox One. Uh, it's on Xbox One S, I think, um, but uh, very similar. It's not on Xbox One X. This is the standard Xbox One. Um, so West Somerset Railway. Um, just want to check. Did you set the volume up on video capture? Good. So you guys, can we just get a quick check? Can you see? Can you hear? Um, is uh, is all good? Yep, the green screen isn't working, so we've just left the green screen the way it is. It's one of those. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. Yeah, <laughs> we faffed <laughs> around with it for a while, and just you know what? It's not important. We move on. Sound can be a bit, little bit wild. Yeah, what I'd normally do is you bounce up, bounce up so the way you're bouncing on the top of the brain. Uh, how's that compared to the microphone? Testing one two, testing one two. That's good. So maybe you put the, uh, the video capture down just. There we go. How's that looking, folks? Yeah, you will see the green screen ECM two. There's um, nothing we can do about that tonight. It's um, it's decided to be rubbish. So. <clears throat> right, okay, anyway, sounds like we are we are good to go. So, West Somerset Railway on Xbox One. So it's gone down pretty well on the PC, hasn't it? Yeah, it has, yes. It's, it's been actually very, very well received, and um, obviously there's been a huge number of people asking for it, or mm -hmm. consoles as well. So this is going to be coming out on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. We're running on Xbox One tonight. The release date is September 11th, so it's uh, a week on Tuesday. A week on Tuesday, so. Uh, Sergeant Salt likes my haircut, thank you very much. Um, I have pretty much all of the time, probably. Um, anyway, so uh, tonight we're going to be running... Um, it's exactly the same content that came out on the PC. Um, there's been some bug fixes and those will be uh, an improvement, so those will be getting pushed to the um, to the PC uh, as soon as they get signed off. So I don't know what date that's about to be, but probably in a similar, similar sort of time frame. Um, so there are some, um, some updates coming out. Um, but the um, but yeah, here we are with um, yeah. I think it was with some of getting some patches. Nothing huge, but um, some nipping and tucking that was needed for console is getting pushed over onto uh, console. Um, you'll get more details of any updates and so forth as they uh, as they come out via the uh, social media channels tomorrow. Uh, if you are not already subscribed to all of our social media, look down. Yeah. Make sure that you uh, you get signed up to Twitter, or Facebook, and all those good things. What we're we going to run then tonight, Luke? Right, we're going to run Mine Hedge Shunter Part Two. We're going to have a look at uh, both the locomotives uh, in West Somerset. And, uh, have a little bit of shunting. That's what Let's get on with it. Uh, tonight, Dex Final, we're just going to be running it on the Xbox and uh, PlayStation Four. Pretty much looks exactly the same. I think the frame rate's slightly higher on the Xbox on, on the uh, PS4, but um, quality, gameplay, etc., is identical. Game sound drowning the voice a little, so let's move that. Yeah, press the wrong one, let's switch it up to me. <laughs> oh, it's got not going to do loading screen, so it's not online. Oh, no, no. Uh, let's just I'll wait for the game to come back before we do that, so yeah. As people have been saying on the uh, Twitch chat, there is uh, not going to be a and pre order for the sunset on uh, consoles and page. Just turn that down to a bit. Right, we've just tuned the volume of the game, so hopefully. Okay. A little bit of um, sort of director's commentary here. The reason you're in this cab, for those of you that um, um, that have played this on the PC and you're wondering why did you get into this cab and then start reverse it, surely you should be in the other cab. The original plan was that the other cab would show up with like um, something in the other cab that meant that you couldn't use it. It was meant to be a broken cab, which is why 
but you end up getting into this cab and then having to reverse it on the turntable, which we'll be doing in a minute. Um, so um, yeah, that's that's sort of your. If you're wondering, that's kind of why why you're in this cab. Controls to the ground, so we can hold the right stick. Do we have any pricing Um Just to confirm, we've got more offhand in the bridge at the end. We will announce it soon. But it's a studio update, uh, Lord Jay. Um, so a bit late on the studio update, basically. I've been incredibly busy, uh, and been incredibly busy, so unfortunately we're, we're, we're a bit late on that. So uh, bear with us. <coughs> Too bad for you. Will there be a patch releasing along with this DLC to fix some of the reported bugs since launch? Um, I believe that's the case. I'm not sure what the time scale is for it. Alex JC, when is the RSN launch uh, lunch stream? Well, when do you want lunch? We had lunch today. Oh. Um, but yes, the um, yes will be uh, w once we announce it. We haven't announced the um, RSN uh, Rosy Nord on um, consoles yet, but once we announce it, then you'll be able to. Uh, we'll let you know when that is. Uh, the microphone on Luke's headset. We're not using that, Ed. Um, we've got a big microphone on the desk that we're talking to. Uh, no, blessed, there's no news on multiplayer yet, I'm afraid. <clears throat> Rebel County 4K, uh, any steam engines coming to TSW? I hope so. Nothing to announce at the moment. Rail Alex, what do I think about player repaints for TSW? I think they're fantastic. It's difficult to share them because they're using lots of licensing that we haven't got, um, or require lots of licensing that we haven't got. But yeah, there's some absolutely fantastic things that have been done. That I've, I've just, it's been really amazing seeing what people are, seeing what people have been doing. More recent one that we were seeing popping up last night. Someone was making uh, BR Blue reskins of um, Mark Ones in the sunset. Yep. Oh yeah, the few people have uh, they've started to get the bug now. I think mm. Some very impressive stuff. Very high quality as well. Uh, 
Uh, no news on um, reskins or anything for GW at this point in time, 395. When there's news, we'll share it. Rest assured. How do you mean, Dex? What do you mean, is there a way or can a way? Do you mean to add player reskins? Skins and Marketplace. Don't know. Uh, in theory, potentially, possibly, um, but still much to look into for that. Will the Class 47 be accessible on the Great Western at some point? I would de desperately like for that to be true. Um, but um, we're working through a long list of things that need to be done. Um, and uh, we'll see what we get to. But um, no, it's, it's definitely something I want to see. I've got nothing to announce in terms of when we can actually do it yet. Can we expect anything on the next DLC soon? Do you mean the next one for this, or PC, or...? I don't think we've got anything really to talk about in terms of, obviously Rosie Nord is coming to console at some point, no information on that yet, but um, there's nothing ready to talk about on PC yet. Rosie Nord has only just come out, so let's, let's sit back and enjoy that as well, and this. This has got a nice, well someone says it's got a lovely sort of quiet, slow, relaxed pace feel to it. There's no rushing about on the line. Um, it's, uh, it's a really nice line to run. I just want to I'm just going to go back. Hey there, Mr. Droya. How are you doing? Uh, there's no pricing information yet, Joseph. Keep an eye out over the coming days, and um, I'm sure there'll be uh, relevant information on social media about it. If you stand up in the DB1185 with C4 on, um, it will think you're driving. <laughs> well, if, yes, technically, if you stand up, then you're no longer press holding the button down, which means um, the brakes come on. I know, I think that's actually what I was doing. People tell me, why aren't you in the cab? Why aren't you in the cab? And they stay in the cab. Ah, oh, get out, we're so bored looking at the cab. Chris, is this an updated version of the PC game? So it's the same as the PC game, essentially. It's the same um, core content. 
Um, in fact, I think we're Somerset Railway is basically fitted between DC and uh, Mortar. <clears throat> uh, so it's just saying I missed one set of points. Ah. And you see, I happen to know that they're already set for the, uh, <laughs> the turntable, so... You're right, I probably should have checked them, but I knew they were already set. <laughs> you love BR Blue, do you, uh, Uriel P911? What's everyone's favourite era um, in, um, in let's go for UK railways anyway, like the, the British Rail, do you like pre-British Rail, steam engines, do you like um, the um, modern um, private operators? What, what, where, where do you guys sit, what's your favourite um, period? Yeah, me, I'm a BR, yeah. BR Blue as well. Uh, look at all the BR Blues coming out. True Blues. <laughs> oh yeah, there's nothing I don't like. Definitely. Um, uh, Joseph, all, all, all trains are good, but... If it was a uh, a modern one or an older one, I don't know. Oh. oh dear. <laughs> Let's do my niche under part one. <laughs> Oops, yeah. We are black. Nice. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't seen a few uh, electric locals in the other one. They're probably a bit hanging off the end of the turntable. Who didn't need to break on? Yep. Wah, 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 Got to put the handbrake on before leaving the cab. I always do that. You click next scenario, so it's like next scenario. Uh, Let's do a little bit of this. We're at Bishop's Lily. This is the other end of the route. <clears throat> now, literally, this is where I tend to drive to every time I visit the so I end up in the car park that's behind that building. We should look out the other window to see if uh, the signals are on the doors.
Oops, this is too bad. <laughs> will independently patrol. Is with some percent available on Xbox One. This will be very shortly. We're running on Xbox One right now. Yeah. There's the controls that I'm battling with at the moment. <laughs> it's strange how you get so used to PC controls after a while. You need you need to just be using the console more often. Apparently, you need yeah. to learn to appreciate the console. <laughs> I'm just playing on the PC all the time, and when Matt hands me this, I'm just like, oh. What does this do? <laughs> Will you be running on PS4 as well as Street? No, I don't have a build on a PS4, unfortunately. Um, I've only got this one on the Xbox tonight. I think we've got another stream coming up. When's the next stream? Uh, I believe we've got one scheduled for next Friday as well. So next Friday maybe I will. I'll see if I can get a PS4 set up. It's in now, there's no pricing available yet. Keep an eye on social media over the next few days uh, and uh, there should be announcements going to like what we expect. Is there a way to get rid of hard screenshots of the console? No, there isn't actually Electro Star. That's something that's one of those things that um, you get so used to how the game plays when you're building it on a PC and then when you come to put it on a console you realise that actually the certain functions that you on a PC you want to do. If you can plug a keyboard into a console, then you should be able to use a normal PC key, so I think one's top or another. But if you haven't got a keyboard to plug into, then you're just using control of the time. Not at the moment, I'm afraid. <clears throat> got no TS19 news, I'm afraid, Lord J. Sources. What kind of PCs do you have for this? I'm sure what you mean. What, what you mean? What sort of spec? Pretty strong ones. They're, they're, a, they're a bit of a broad range, to be honest. I mean, the dev team, for quite a long time during dev of Sandpatch, were only on 750Ti's. Um, they've since a lot of them had upgrades to 32 gigs of memory. Um, and they're running slightly better graphics cards now, but they're still, you know, no one's got 970s or 10s. I've got that But most people are using something like, I think, 1050 is a common spec now in Taiwan. Um, and they've got demo machines with 1080s and things like that, but um, most people are not dev to The extra memory you don't need to run the game, but it is very, very useful. Yeah, the 1060 cards are pretty decent.
Can you hear us better now, folks? Of course. Alex says, Luke, what is rural? Presumably this is related to the new screenshot. Uh, this box. is this is indeed related to the new screenshot. Rural means uh, countryside. Like this, basically. Like this, basically. Mm -hmm. not, not to put ideas into your head, but what a great route. It's mm -hmm. a screenshot stuff. It is indeed. Some fantastic countryside views from here. Yeah, thank you for sending all your screenshots in for the screenshot competitions. It's always great seeing the uh, the entries people are putting in and the winners. Some cracking shots there. And I'm really, really pleased that we can see them now in the load screens of the game. Mm. It's, it's, it's really showing that great content. Seven or something. Mm -hmm. Nice relaxing group, this one, isn't it? It is very chill. There's, there's, you know, there's not really any pressures on this one. It's, um, it's about enjoying the beautiful scenery. Take us make a run down the line. Bear in mind, you can still be a passenger. You can put them in pictures and just, uh, ride them. You can, uh, stand and watch on the platform. you send an Xbox screenshot, you'll have to get it off the Xbox somehow and then submit it on the forums. I don't know what the uh, the easiest way of doing that will be, uh, but something for the team to look into and provide advice on. Mm. Figuring out how to, do, how to get the uh, screenshots off the consoles is definitely something that we uh, want to figure out um, and get it written down somewhere mm -hmm. uh, so that the uh, consoles can join in the screenshot contest and get some of their own load screens onto the console versions. Mm, Too bad for you, says OneDrive upload is probably the easiest way to share a screenshot. There you go. Set up your OneDrive account, upload the screenshots to there, and then you can access them on your PC via OneDrive as well. That's a really good idea, too bad for you. <laughs> there is a screenshot button on Xbox DSL. When you take them, where do they go? I can't remember. They go. They do go into a screenshot library you can access via other parts. This is a dev kit, so it, it's a conch. It's not the same. Me showing the UI on this one won't help you, um, but. Um, 
uh, it's worth googling uh, and maybe something we can we can put together a little tutorial on uh, on how you manage screenshots, get them onto your PC and submit them into the uh, into the competitions. On a PS4, you click the share button, upload to your Twitter account, and then go onto Twitter on a PC and save them. There you go. That's an idea for the PS4 from Electrostar on Twitch. I do like the look of Gronk. Those that don't know, Gronk is the nickname for this locomotive. That's how I pronounce what's going on. Super. I don't know, super. How much difference was there between the 08 and 09? Mostly it was about gearing. Um, so essentially the 09 can go faster, but it's not quite as tight a pulley. Whereas the 08 has a slower maximum speed, but can pull more. Um, that was essentially the difference between the two. They look identical in those specs. I think the engine horsepower is exactly the same as well. I think they also made uh, more variants of this as well. I believe it was a uh, class 11 as well. Yep. And was the, same. the 11 came first, by the way. Bizarre, interesting mm. Then, of course, there was the highly unusual class 13, which is two groups bolted together and one has the cabin. Double power. There's only a small number of people that have worked in, in one specific yard. And are the two engines in the DLC actually resident in the West Somerset? Yes, they are to be. And they're licensed as well. Derek Polillo says you can upload screenshots onto Smart Glass from your Xbox and then upload them onto the, uh, to the phone. There's lots of options for getting screenshots. Class 13 was uh, Tinsley, that's it, Tinsley Yard, that's easy. Yeah, so this pack comes with the 09 D4107 and um, Class 47 North Star number D1661. Um, it comes with uh, two sets of coaches, so there's a BSO, a brake second open, and a trailer second open in both the brown and cream livery uh, at the front here and the um, red and cream livery at the back. Um, You've got the the route, the service mode with all sorts of actions going on throughout the day. Um, five scenario, I think five or six scenarios. Um, so there's, uh, there's plenty to do. It's a slow run across the line, takes a bit over an hour to do the entire journey. Um, there's two scenarios where you are running the entire length of the line in various cases. <clears throat> and, um, some, and then the rest of them really focusing on shunting and train preparation. And trains away at the end of the day, that kind of thing. It's, uh, it's quite interesting actually, because there's, there's, there's tons to do. Electra Star, definitely recommend visiting the West Somerset for real stunning route, it certainly is. It certainly is. Plans of but no, this is a scenario, it's called To The Beach.
Andrew GWB on Mixer. Are there any Steam Locos in the works for console? Not at this time, no. Hopefully in the future, not at this time. What is the correct name for the red things going up and down? Con rods or connecting rods? It's what they look like they're going up and down design. It's what they're actually going round and round. So. <clears throat> if he wants to call them chuffers though, Polonius, I've got no objection to that. You know, as long as he's enjoying trains. I might start calling them chuffers from now on, I'm sure that'll go down well. I'm not sticking for naming. I don't think it's, it's enjoy enjoy trains is, is my main goal here. I think they're official chuckles now, they enjoy Pop Top Games. They just need to be pink, yeah? They painted red. So the uh, Conrods on uh, or Chuppers on um, on Gronks were painted in a variety of different liveries, and generally it was uh, it was rare to see them in anything other than um, dirt and oil black, um, regardless of what colour they were actually in underneath. <laughs> but obviously, running on a preserved rail, um, the team, the crews at these uh, at the preserved railways work tirelessly to keep things pristine and looking beautiful so there's um, uh, that's why you'll see them constantly looking like this So the signalling on this route is uh, old style UK semaphore signalling uh, and it's in, on this line it's lower quadrant. So what that means is that the signal will be, if it's like that, um, then it's red. Um, the signal we're just coming up here is facing in the other direction so you can ignore it. But if the signal is up like that and it's a red coloured signal, a red board, then it means you have to stop there. If it's down at a 45 degree angle, that means it's a go signal. So it means that signal is off, so you can proceed through it. The other types of si the type of signal you see on this line is a yellow signal, which has got like a cutting on the edge of it. Now that's called a distant signal. You don't stop if that one is up, but if it's up, it's telling you the next signal probably is, um, or you should slow down and prepare because either there's an obstruction coming up, reduction, or there's a speed reduction coming up, um, or a red signal. Um, so either way, you see a distance that's at this position, then you need to start um, getting ready to slow down or actually slowing down. If the distance is in the off position as well, that means that's effectively like a not a green light because it's not a stop signal. You see the signal coming up actually is um, is is up, which means signal is what they call on, which means that we if we go through it, we fail the scenario. That's, that's a spad. I remember it. That's always a good start. I'm now probably going to have to um, cut this scenario short. So there's the signal you were talking about just then. Yeah, so that signal was it, when we came in, it was in the uh, on position, it's now rotated into the off position. Meaning that we're uh, we're good to go. Just a, a kind of a um, another way of remembering the terms on and off. By the way, is um, the way that I remember it. This is going to sound really silly, and anyone who knows railways is just going to laugh at me. I'm fine. Everyone laughs at me all the time. But 
on, think of there is an obstruction on the track. That means you can't go through it. Off, the obstruction is off the track, and therefore you can go through it. So a signal that is on, you can't go through it. A signal that is off, you can't go through it. So you can't go through it. Sorry. Off, you can go through it. So it's just a really, really basic way of remembering the difference between on and off. I mean, you could simply remember it as OK or not OK, but it's um, those are the terms that are used. Right. Uh, so we are going to uh, switch to uh, Train Sim uh, 2018 for a look at the uh, Grand Passport. Excellent. OK. I think we're also going to have a Grand Switch, aren't we? <laughs> uh, oh, are we? Mm -hmm. Oh, alright then. Yeah, Fair enough. Have a driver switch. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, right. Do you we wanna... will, we'll be back in a moment. Yeah, back in a minute, folks. Right, okay folks, can you hear us all now? We've uh, we rejiggered things around a little bit. If I sat in frame. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we are running Santa Fe Train 448 Part 2. Uh, this is by High Iron Simulations. Uh, on, uh, you can get this on Steam Workshop. It's running on the new, and I've no idea how to pronounce this. I'm going to go with Rat and Pass. Um, I'm sure everyone will correct me. Um, and um, yeah, we're going to be running with a Dash 840 CW. So the C means that it's got what they call C trucks, means that there are um, three axles on each truck, and then the W means it's a, uh, a weight cab as opposed to the ones that are smaller, a little bit like an SD40 or something like that. So yeah, this is the Dash 840 CW. The pack also comes with the Dash 840 BW, which is B trucks, hence it's got two axles. Um, and otherwise than that, the body looks very similar. I always think the BW looks kind of daft because it's got essentially the same space allocated for the truck, but the truck is tiny. So it just looks silly to me. Anyway, um, anyway, so let's carry on. So this says, Santa Fe Train 448 LJBA was a manifest train, freight train operating from La, um, La Junta, Colorado to Barstow, California via the Rant subdivision. You are the engineer of train 448 and in the first instalment of this two-part scenario climbed to the east slope of Ratton Pass and then took siding on the west slope of Kyoto for a meet with Amtrak train 3. When the southwest chief clears, you'll be headed on west towards Ratton, New Mexico and beyond. Sage so Funk, I'm saying, oh yes, Gary Dole's all scenario time. It is indeed. Ooh, and there's one of uh, the new screenshots. That was today's winner. That's fantastic. Well done, JJ Timothy. And there's a Gronk and a 37. What's not to like? I had my vote, I suppose. Well, if I voted, <laughs> it would have been my vote. <laughs> right, are we getting any desk support? I don't think we are. Uh, we need to turn the audio on. Yeah. Great team as well. Um, oh, yes, I need to hear you. Yeah. <coughs> Audio. Right, you should now have game audio. Don't be like nineteen hundred, saying he's been over the past several times in real life. Cool. Right, additional air braking to hold your train on the terrain. Right, you're helping. 
Chopper is cutting off the coacher as it's needed on the east slope. Dispatch out. There he is, he's on the way down. Look. Ratton subdivision dispatch to 18 SF train 448 Amtrak train 3 lead unit 513 is approaching Kyoto now. Once he's passed the subject signal indications, follow him west. But sit back and relax. It will take train 3 about 7 minutes to clear the box. Whoa. Let's set the camera up somewhere nice, shall we? Snooker saying that we've also uh, got to turn the ditch on. Not there. Not those ones. Where are the ditch ones? Admire this lovely locomotive. Top Stalker on Mixer, well done on West Somerset PS4 and Xbox. Well, we hope you enjoy it. It's really great, it's a great experience on the console, so uh, it's, uh, we're looking forward to getting that one out to you. Tune out on September 11th. September 11th. Uh, Roof on Tuesday. See you later, Top Star Girl. So fun comes saying, I see lots of wagons, some from the Peace River route. Here he comes. You certainly have a lot of wagons on the truck. Sounds like from the um... <laughs> Gary doesn't like to miss about. Mm. Gary does serious trucks. And we're waiting for a signal indication to proceed. So yeah, there's some, I think someone was saying on the chat, it's by Mile Post Simulation to, I think, the Peace River route and also Canadian Mountain Pass as well. Um, so, and they've also worked on some other stuff as uh, you know, working with other people there. So, quite an experienced developer. 
so many American Canadian roots, he's British. Mm. That is, I'm um, somewhat surprised me at first, because a lot of people were talking to me about Gary Jones, and I thought he was American. No, oh, sorry, not Gary. Not Gary, Gary, is, Gary. Gary is definitely American. Uh, no, Jonathan Lewis, Mark Lewis. 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 And Clear Creek, yes. West Highland Line South, I think was a um, mile post as well. Lots of great, great products. Train to clear the line. There's a little bit of map for the route actually while we're here. So, up at the north end here, we've got uh, Trinidad. Why then? Beautiful. And as we make our way south, we we'll get down here to Hebron. Uh, This is us. Yep. Quickly make our way south. Once we get a signal. Microphones, Chris. <laughs> oh, you've set him off now. You've set him off. They did say it would take seven minutes to get. Best way to see the signal will turn you as soon as you've got the 2D map so you can work out where the, where the train is ahead of us. There it is down there. Though. Yeah, we're about to get the signal. There we go. We've got the uh, advance approach, I think. This, this route goes up to somewhere like three, three and a half percent. It's very, very steep.
You want to move the camera to the top right? Yeah, we can sort that out for you. Ooh, off we go. Open up. This is not a career scenario, so there's no point. But there's other stuff. Pretty much got the whole of the train on the grade now, just about. So if you can you put a little guide together like the short signal ones that explains quickly for the TSW routes when you need to use the horn and bell. Yeah we can do that. The gu basic guideline is for a European route you pretty much never use them. Uh, for American routes pretty much we use them all the time. <laughs> There's a bit more to it. But, um, British routes are somewhere in the middle. Tends to be uh, Florida's discretion I think the whistle in the UK, the horn in the UK, is generally used where train spots are. It's probably its most frequent use these days. That's about all to uh, discreetly to go on in uh, King's Box. Or play the Star Wars, Wars thing. Yes, <laughs> yes, I saw that on your last stream. So using a combination of air and dynamic brakes to balance my speed as we go down the go down the hill. We're running on a pretty level 2.83% grade at the One of the challenges is with, unlike um, European routes, uh, European trains, American freight trains can't partially release their brakes. Um, you can all you can do with these brakes is fun release. Um, which obviously means that if you find that you're over braking just a little bit, you kind of got a problem because the only thing you can do is fully release your brakes and then wait for all the brake pipe and everything to recharge and then reapply them again. So it gets quite tricky um, managing the, uh, uh, the brakes down a hill like this. We're streaming to Twitch and Mixer, that's probably enough. Basically, you do. So, as I said earlier on, the problem with the uh, the, the, the challenge, let's say, with the um, brakes on American freight trains is that 
you can apply them as much as you want, however you want. When you release, all you can do is a full shot of this. Um, so the way that you man, navigate your way down a grade like this is you use a base set of air, which you then trim with dynamic brakes. Because dynamic brakes, you can increase and decrease however you like, but they're only being applied on the locomotives. Um, whereas the air brakes are across the entire track, you have all freight class do braking as well. So you put enough braking so that you can then adjust your speed as you need to with the uh, with the dynamic brakes. Once you get the hang of it, it makes a lot of sense, but it's a little bit of practice. You've also got to find that appropriate set of air, because if you overshoot, then you're going to have to try and figure out how you reset that. Andy says that there is a horn and valve guide on Steam for Transom 2018. Okay. Right, the line's levelling up a little bit as we come up here, which means we can look at uh, <coughs> speeding up soon. Train 891, lead unit 544, at double tr on double track at Rutten. Subject signal indications you can expect to remain on the move. So we've leveled, we've sort of, we've, the, the grade is easing up now to the point that my air brakes are actually sliding down. Even though the dynamic brakes are issuing zero amps at the minute. So I'm going to let it slow down a bit more. And then I'm going to do a full release. This is speed limit information, passenger 45, freight 40. And then this is um, the same, but I think this is about grades. So what matters to us is freight speed limit 40 miles per hour. Crazy. Using the dynamic brakes. Set the air back on. Now it's just speeding up and back on air brakes again. Pika Santa Fe. It's a truck train. No, it's 1.8 percent. If you look down here on the bottom, you can see that you can see the grade. You can kind of see it visually, but you can see the numbers here. That's the grade at the lead axle on the truck. Halfway into the 40 limit.
train horn for my doorbell. It's a really cool <laughs> idea. Maybe I should um, record a YouTube video of me discussing that to my wife. <laughs> Imagine it be a short discussion. Short discussion end with, uh, yes, that's a great idea. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> and we got the 40 limit, so I'm going to ease up on the dynamics, just let the train naturally speed up. it well size out. This is one way of doing it. Some say it is asked to, easier to ask for uh, forgiveness than permission. AB9 bot, how's it going? <laughs> Not just safely pitched it, no wheel slip. this little trick as well. If you want to see what's going up ahead, if you zoom in with the mouse here, you can only see that's your maximum zoom. If you do the air shift 2 to get outside, you can zoom a lot further. Be saying, oh dear, that's kind of fresh. Darn, why'd there have to be a yellow light? I was hoping I could open it up. 60 seconds coming up. You know, like, just as the last section coming up. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm hoping, I keep saying this B9 bot, but I'm hoping next week. Fingers crossed. Find 
saying he prefers this gauge set up to the computer dash display. Yeah, I like the gauges as well, Mocky. Sometimes I think the computer gauge, the computer screen is trying to show too much info. One of the reasons on the ACS 64 in Trinity World, I always switch it to the gate the screen that shows gauges. for 1.2% down now. Sixty-five limit. Oh, that's true. Trains go fast. No caboose. It's not. It's got another train device for it. <clears throat> Hebron in seven miles. I do like the uh, Santa Fe uh, blue and silver. Look. But I want a lot of the Santa Fe look. Really nice. They tried. They had various different um, um, customization variations on livery. Um, like there was the blue and yellow one, I think, which was bright and brightly. This one was the passenger version, with red and silver.
legs up on the dynamics. Put some extra dynamic on just so it can hold it down, come down that, that drop that just came down. It says 70. It's like London to Faversham in America. <laughs> With an SD395. Train CYCH3, lead unit 92, is holding the lane at Hebron. You will take a siding Hebron to allow CYCCH to proceed east and will hold there for a minute with ULA and Y. Uh, lead 100. Entry speed the siding is 30. Dispatch out. Gently bring it down. Okay, it's nice to see a uh, high speed American cable. Yeah, a lot of them sit around the 25 30 mile an hour yeah. mark. There's one of the things I liked about Sandpatch was that there's a section on the eastern side of the route where you're up to 50 miles an hour before you turn around and find them and then it's 25-30. I think this one's slow on the um, other slope uh, going up. And then fast. Running at 2.4 now to Hebron. Dynamics again, just for that little drop. Keeping those dynamics on because we've just run another one. We're just this route seems to be stepping down. Just taking a series of 1.3% grades. Now at one and a half miles. Get some air back on again in a minute. We'll get the speed dropped the rest of the way to 30. They do. Mm -hmm. 
Right, to know it's bringing the speed down, we've got another step drop to go through. I've only looked at this one myself two or three times now, and it's, like I say, it's been good. It's, it's, there's a lovely variety of stock in there, um, and it's the steep gradient on it that's not most challenging. But then this combination of having fast running as well, it gives a bit of a, a bit of extra pizzazz. Just using air to trim off down to 30. Stopping in one mile. Yep. So the dynamics to control the speed until we get towards the other end of the siding. The, uh, the mid power at the middle of this frame. At the speeds, the lower speeds like this, the dynamic brakes are going to be less effective. So I'll hope a little bit just to uh, save the air brakes. You should find it. Set these already off. Yeah, I can see that. This would be with me 
feels more like the eastern half of the route towards Shelby. After you've done the Mariah's Pass on the western half of the route, you've then got the straight shot uh, east towards Shelby. Richie Dawes, loving the TS4 and PS, TSW or PS4, hope you get longer route soon. Awesome, glad you're enjoying it. The uh, West Somerset Railway is coming to consoles on the 11th of September, which is a uh, week of And RSN, well, Rules Ignored, will be uh, following on to consoles in uh, a while. We haven't got a release date yet for Rules Ignored, but we will let you know what's going to And there you go, folks. I love America. They just look so gorgeous. It's big. They're, they're the ultimate statement of massive power. Well done. Well, we make for, uh, wait for the meet the train QLAMY. Sit back and relax. There you go. Yeah. Brilliant. Well, is that everything we have to cover tonight? Is that everything we have to cover today? So, uh, to quickly recap, we've got uh, West Somerset Railway, which is coming to consoles on uh, September the 11th. Um, Rose Ignored will be coming to consoles after that. Uh, we haven't got a date yet, but we shall um, let everyone know as soon as we do. Um, also in recent news, uh, Train Simulator 2019 has just been announced, um, which is finally getting the 64 bit upgrade. Woo! 64 bit! A lot of people have been looking forward to. Um, and what else is there? Uh, oh, <laughs> Should have written that down. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that's certainly all I'm aware of. So um, yes, um, don't forget, Resignored came out a little while back on uh, Train Sim World. So if you haven't picked that up yet, check out the reviews. It's uh, it's getting some really great feedback, and uh, I'm really really pleased to see that stuff. So if you haven't taken a look yet, go have a look, and uh, you'll probably find there's some pretty cool content there. And if you have not tried PZB on Resignored yet, do it. Turn it on, and um, read the manual that comes with it because. I'm get, I'm, we're getting some good feedback that people are finding the manual is helping them understand PZB. So um, give it a go. The gameplay, the feeling of driving PZB on the German trains and getting it right and completing is just awesome. And that's that's real gameplay there. So uh, it's a really good experience. So if you haven't tried that yet, that's our recommendation. Give that a go. All right, otherwise than that, thank you very much for what, uh, for joining us, folks. Um, we will be back next week. We'll be back we? next week on Friday for the first Friday of the month for Death, uh, Death Stream. Excellent. So next week is uh, next Friday is our next stream. And uh, I think we'll try and bring a, a PS4 with us on the set yeah. next time. We'll see if we can organise that. And uh, otherwise than that, we will uh, we'll catch you later. Cheers, folks. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Have a great Cheers. weekend.